some connections in life don't really matter. Some connections in life seem random. And what seems random might, in hindsight, be planned. It's not always the planned connections that lead to a final destination. It is perhaps the most unexpected of connections that end up being the most fulfilling. You know, looking at all this reminds me that it's quite true that sometimes the most unexpected of connections can become the most fulfilling. For way back in 1985, when we started the Branches Shop with an eclectic group of people, little did we think that some 25 years later we would still be in business and seeking to make a difference to some of the poorest people in the world. In 2009, 22 medical teams, 8 work parties, 3 school and 2 connection trips will visit the Vine Trust's work in Peru to see at first hand the partnership between Vine Trust and Scripture Union and to participate in the ongoing development of the medical and street children's projects. Since its arrival in July 2006, Amazon Hope 2 has treated over 100,000 patients and now serves over 124 river communities on a quarterly basis with its sister ship Amazon Hope 1. From 2009, over 100,000 patients annually will be treated by the Amazon Hope Medical and Dental Project and the number of villages will rise to 200. We are continually looking for new partnerships to help us build and extend our work among street children in Peru. Our hope is to secure sufficient annual revenue to support approximately eight homes on a permanent basis. We are grateful to the many churches who have been our partners to date, and also to individuals and also to organisations who are helping us bring this about. As the Trust continues to grow its support for street children's centres throughout Peru, we have sought to develop economic self-sufficiency locally in order to minimise long-term dependency on foreign donors. Historically, taxis, rickshaws, a car park, carpentry, bakery and other micro-enterprise projects have provided the financial backbone for much of this work. In order, however, to enable significant advance, the Trust has been evaluating a larger scale revenue raising project. According to some friends in the city, not too many companies are planning to float in 2009. But that's exactly what we are hoping to do thanks to the generous support of various companies, foundations and individuals. Based on an ex-MOD barge, a multi-purpose education training, resource and exhibition facility which seeks to create meaningful opportunities in the whole area of global citizenship and overseas volunteering is now underway, thanks to the support from a number of key businesses and foundations. Fourth Ports have generously provided a free berth adjacent to Ocean Drive and the new Edinburgh tram route in the heart of Leith. The Lloyds TSB Foundation for Scotland have also funded an education development worker to oversee the development of this exciting new facility.
Perhaps like me, I hope you think it's fitting for us to conclude this little video outside Branch's shop. Because no doubt you'll agree that we've journeyed such a long way since 1985. Yet Branches still has a place within the partnership with Vine Trust. For in 2009, we hope to take our little shop and put it online in order that we can promote more third world products. Connecting people to change lives continues to be the motto of the Vine Trust. We hope that in some way we have connected with you and inspired you to find a way in which you could connect with us and we could connect with you in order that we can make a difference in our world. Thank you for listening to us tonight and we hope that we will be able to meet and journey in the future together.